Here's a little at-home workout that you can follow along with. Um, going to be laid out nice and easy for you, so we'll go through some warm-ups, some activations, and then we're going to go through two mini circuits. Um, if you're looking to do another round, just rewind back to the start. I'll leave a little link in the bio. So we're going to start down on the ground first and foremost. We're going to get into our 90, 90 stretch. So here we are, 90 degrees east leg. Starting nice and tall through the chest and dropping down slowly. So I want to keep that straight spine as best as we can. Just leaning over that front leg, feel the glutes stretch out. With the stretching, taking deeper breaths in. Full breath in, full breath out. Helps the muscles relax a lot more, uh, prevents your body from being up too tight, laying up too tight. And that's good there. We will switch over onto our other side, keeping that 90 90 position. Being comfortable, home you need. Again, start tall. And then we lean that chest forward. Straight back as best you can. And good. From there guys, if you've got a couch or a stool or a box or something you can use, we'll use that. We're going to stretch out the hip flexor here. If you don't have one, there is a modification. So step one, we get foot up on the box, other foot out in front, we're going to tuck the hips under. Feel this stretching out the front of the leg. I'll just show the modification so you can stay there for me again, deep breathing. If you don't have the box, we're pulling up that back leg. Again, tucking the hips under, keeping our body nice and straight, nice and tall. And we can gently rock into this one a little bit just to get a bit more ooh, out of it. And we'll switch sides there. Just notice if you've got one side tighter than the other, if one side needs a little bit more attention, feel free to give it some. And good. Now you guys want to go into a adductor stretch, so one leg out to the side, we're trying to keep that foot straight down on the floor and pointing straight forward. We get into our bent over position and we're rocking back and forward, pushing our hips through the motion here. Just to show you guys on the side, I want to make sure that you've got a pretty flat back as you're going into this, trying to really avoid rounding in your posture. Nice and flat. Again, we'll just do about five on each side there, so you can switch legs. Really good. And last one down here on the floor for the mobility. It's the thread the needle. So stay on your all fours position. We want to make sure that the hand that is not rotating stays as straight as possible, as still as possible. And we're going to reach under. Again, watching this hand to not collapse. Reaching under. Opening straight back up. Really working to get length through the shoulder blades here, through the thoracic spine. Following your hand, guys, really helps to just get that little extra bit of motion. Five on each side, it's a good amount here, guys.
Feel free to take a couple minutes if you'd like to pause the video and do a couple more stretches of your, of your own choice. Otherwise, we'll get on into our activations. All right, we've got our muscles stretched out. We're feeling nice and loose. Now it's time to ramp up. So we're trying to elevate our heart rate and activate our core. Those are the two main concepts of the activation. Uh, so starting off just on your back, we're going to go through a dead boat. Now the dead boat here, we're trying to keep our, our spine as flat on the floor as possible and have the motion coming only through our shoulders and our hips. So starting on your back for me. We find this position for our back where we get the ribs down. You can almost feel the abs starting to switch on already. We're bringing up one leg at a time, keeping that back position nice and flat, pulling up the toes and hands reaching straight up. Keeping your head relaxed on the floor for this variation, guys. One hand and one foot at a time. We're going to go with the opposites. We're going to extend up and out. Whole time trying to get nice and long through your body. Keeping that back flat on the ground. We're going for 10 reps here. Eight. And ten. Should feel the abs working now. From here, we're going to get into some single leg bridging. Now here, the range of motion is quite small. We want to really feel the glute working to contract fully to push the hips up off the floor. Staying on your back to start, we've got our legs bent, feet on the floor here. Good to keep the idea of the flat back in your mind. So flat back, and then I'm pushing up that small range of motion, driving up through my glute. We're going for 10 on each side here as well. There's five. Keep your head relaxed. And then 10, switching legs. Ten. And the last one here in our warm up ramp series is the single leg hop. Now, I like this one a lot for balance, so taking your time, guys, don't rush through. I want you to be in control of your body as you do this one. It's a really simple task. Uh, when done well, it can be really challenging. But the idea is jumping from side to side, trying to be in control the whole time. We're going to go for 10 jumps on each leg and just hopping over, make sure you land. Find a balanced position and then come back over. Ooh. And turn. Very good. We'll run that through one more time, two rounds on our activation circuit before we get into the proper training circuits. Alrighty, time to pick things up a little bit. Here is circuit one. What I'll do is you guys can follow along with me. We'll go through each exercise once and then you're going to have a little rest period. Now, once you're done with the circuit, you can go ahead and rewind back to the start. So just uh, follow along and see how you go. Pause when you need to for a bit of rest, but try and keep your rest as short as possible. That's the challenge here during home workouts. Otherwise, we'll get started. So first exercise is the bowler squat. I like to visualize this as 10 pin bowling. I'm going through and I'm, I'm bowling and I'm trying to get to this final position here, which looks like the bottom of the, uh, bottom of the bowling strike. So I'm on one leg. I'm getting nice and low and coming back up. You definitely feel this one through the glutes. Trying to make sure that you keep your spine in a nice tall position, not just slouching over to get down there. Go for eight on both legs. That's eight there. It's 
Sang nice and tall. And hey, very good. From there, we're going into our push up with switches. So, here we're challenging a little bit of core stability and also shoulder stability. You'll start in a regular push up position, nice straight line through the body. Do your push up, bring your hands together, bring your hands apart, and do another push up. And that's already two for me. Very good, we're going to do eight reps total. Four. Last one, and eight. It's good there, thanks guys. But I wanted to ramp it up a little into a hip thrust, so. Shoulders up on your couch. Keeping your eyes forward here. Coming up with squeezing through the glute. Pushing our weight through the heel of our foot. Seven, and eight, switching your left. And eight. And the last one in this round, it's going to be our plank with reach. So back down on the floor for us. We're in a normal plank position up on our elbows. Body's in a nice straight line. One hand at a time reaching out. Just for eight reps. And eight. Well done on completing the first circuit. Take 30 seconds to 60 seconds, as much rest as you need here. And we'll start back again at exercise one. All right, nice stuff. That's round one done. You've got through that circuit a few times. Great work. We're on to our second circuit. So next four exercises again, same order. We'll go through each exercise once. Take your rest and then we'll come back to the start and we'll go again. Just a note, there's one more circuit following this one. I'll uh, stop talking and get into it. So the first one is the bent over thoracic rotation. This one, up through the shoulder blades. We're going to get in our bent over position here, which is a lot like a Romanian deadlift. We've got that nice flat back position. With our thumbs pointing up to the ceiling, we've got one hand at a time reaching straight up and rotate. Keep your arms as straight as possible as you go here. And eight reps there is good. From there we've got our three-way lunge. So we'll start with one leg. We're stepping three directions, forwards, side and back. So make sure you've got a bit of room. And what that looks like, four on each side, we've got the three lunges. Forward, side, and back, that is one rep. Forward, side, back, two reps. Three reps. And back, that's good, four reps. Side of the other leg. Last one here, forward, side, and back. The curler, this one here, very subtle movement, uh, it's an iso hold, so we're just going to hold in one position. Um, making sure that you are feeling abs, if you're feeling your head or neck getting really tight, then you're probably trying a little bit too hard to pull up through your upper body. Nice and relaxed as you set up for this one, feel the abs doing the job and you should be good. So up here, with the hands just behind my lower back, we've got one leg bent, 
Once again, my upper body is relaxed. One leg straight out. From here, I'm going to curl my shoulders up, just pulling through the abs, keeping that leg straight. I can feel my abs working over time here. It's not through my head, not through my neck. I'm trying to squish my back down onto the floor. And we've got five more seconds. And relax there, that's good. That's our first round. We'll switch legs. And we'll get going in three, two, one. Trying to breathe here, guys. Five seconds. And relax. Nice. Now staying down here, we'll just walk our feet out one step, keeping our upper body nice and loose. We're rolling the hips up off the floor, digging the heels down. And again, this is a 30 second hold here. Got the timer on. So follow along with me again. Toes are pointing straight up to the ceiling. Our knees are pretty close together. My hips are rolled up off the floor and I'm pushing straight down through the heels. We're going for 10 more seconds. And good. Whew. Nice. Once again, we will rewind back to the start of that circuit and then we'll get ready for our finishing circuit at the end. It's going to be a bit of a burnout. Alright, great job for you following along. We have made it through two circuits and now we're into our final finishing circuit. This one's a bit of a glute burner. Uh, we want to do this one as fast as possible in terms of no rest. So if you do one exercise straight to the next and then back, that's going to be the best way to kind of get the most out of this. Uh, but not rushing your technique, alright? Making sure we are definitely feeling the glutes on each exercise. So our first one, we're going with a pretty wide stance here. Feet pointed out. I want to make sure that you've got your brace. So abs on, glutes tucked. Hands straight out in front. We're going through pulsing squats. So we're going all the way down. We're staying down in this bottom range and we're pulsing through the bottom of the squat there. Keeping tension through the glutes, pushing the knees out. Nine, ten, five more. And fifteen, that's really good. From there we'll get straight down into our all fours position. Going with fire hydrant, so starting on one leg, I'm keeping my core stacked, my abs straight down to the floor, and I'm just taking that leg away from the body. Definitely feeling glutes already. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So from the other side, ten reps as well. Really trying to avoid your hips and spine opening up. Nine and ten. Woo. Jump back to the start of this circuit again. We'll get three rounds of the finishing burnout. And thanks for following along with our home workout. Uh, unfortunately, again, lockdown extended, so this is a great chance for you guys to keep moving. Um, obviously, very low weight. We don't need any weight at all. Um, just need a little bit of equipment. If you've got a box or a bench, that's all we need for that. And just the effort, guys. So great stuff on jumping on, watching the video, and following along. Hope that got the heart rate going and the body moving. And we hope to see you in the gym soon, alright? Take care, guys.